Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Give me a moment. How are you guys? It's good to see you again um, after this long um, vacation, very long vacation, two weeks. My goodness, incredible. How, how was your vacation, everybody? How was your vacation? Good good work, good vacation. Good, vacation. <laughs> good, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. How are you in this moment? Are you are you cold? No. No. Because right now I am I am so hot. It's it's super yes. hot here in my house. I don't know your house, but from my house it's super hot. Yes, it's uh it just rained, so pff, all the 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 humidity pff, it's just horrible. <laughs> How about the rest of you? How are you? Are you are you also very hot? Yes, teacher, the same. Yeah, I know, right? It's horrible. Okay. Hey, um, good to yeah. see everybody. Um, I see new faces as well. I can see new faces. Um, okay, yeah, that's wonderful. Okay. Bueno, um primeramente antes que nada de de eh, déjenme darles uh, la bienvenida uh, a todos tanto um, a los que ya pues habíamos estado juntos como también para aquellos que um, que pues no eh, pues la primera vez que nos estamos viendo verdad y uh, pues um, nos vamos a conocer por primera vez verdad si ustedes pueden notar hay uh, tenemos caritas nuevas, lo cual es muy bueno, ¿verdad? Vamos a, a conocer a nuevos compañeros. Uh, así es que, welcome, welcome everybody. Um, me, me da gusto eh, poder verlos nuevamente y poder conocer a nuevos. Um, ok, eh, veo que um, Luis... Uh, está teniendo problemas de audio, dice. Uh, Luis, ¿nos escucha a nosotros? ¿O simplemente que, que no puede en, encender su micrófono? O quizás entren porque como que está, está para, está para la, la, la imagen. Bye. Eh, si, si algo así pasa, chicos, um, si en algún momento ustedes tienen problemas así uh, con audio o con um, ¿verdad? que no les deja abrir el micrófono, lo que sea, entonces uh, lo que les sugiero es um, salirse y nuevamente entrar. ¿verdad? A veces eso funciona porque, bueno, eh, Zoom es un poco a veces se porta un, un poco mal criado. <ríe> Así que um, a veces es mejor hacer eso, simplemente salirse y volver a entrar, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, Así es que espero, si se si acaso, Luis, quiero ver. Yo creo que sí, ya salió. Ok, perfecto. All right, well, guys, um, good to see everybody. Um, first of all, like I said, we have new faces. Uh, and um, and, uh, you know, for the other people that are new to the class, you know, um, the other people are new faces. So what we're going to do right now, um, we're going to be introducing ourselves um, quickly, just a very quick um, introduction about who we are and something interesting about us, okay? Así que eh, vamos a todos a presentarnos, por supuesto en inglés, ¿verdad? para practicar nuestro inglés. Eh, nos vamos a presentar porque como les mencionaba, hay, eh, pues um, tenemos nuevas caritas, queremos conocernos, 
eh, tanto a los que ya estamos juntos como a los nuevos. Queremos darle la bienvenida, queremos conocerlos. Entonces vamos a hacer una breve presentación. Digan su nombre y algún, algo interesante que quieran compartir, ¿verdad? Pero por supuesto en inglés para que podamos practicar. Ok. All right, so um, let's, um, let's start. Oh, um, una cosa, solamente quería recordarles, um, si me hacen el favor ahí de colaborarme con sus camaritas, ¿verdad? A, a encender la camarita. Eh, les agradecería bastante para que podamos, um, pues, a, apreciar sus caritas, ¿verdad? Ok, y uh, sí, entonces... Uh, Ok, vamos ahí, uh, voy a empezar en el orden que los tengo acá. Ok, eh, first of all, I have Manuel de Jesús. Ok, Manuel de Jesús, are you there? Good night. Good evening, Manuel. Welcome. Ok, tell, tell us a little bit about you. Eh, my name is Manuel de Jesús Montoya. Eh, Only, solamente. Okay, tell us something interesting about you, Manuel. Mm. Uh, uh, repeat for please. Uh, say something interesting about you. What is something you want to share with the rest of the class? Um, um, Interesting, uh, um, uh, here uh, on the Rhine. Okay, uh, but what about you? Something interesting about you. Algo interesante sobre usted. Sobre mí, sí. Mm -hmm. Aquí llovió y está fresco. Ajá, pero eso del clima, ¿y usted? Yo, bueno. Eh, Nothing, no, 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 uh, nothing interesting in my life. I'm sure. I, algo tiene, algo interesante, algo que quiera compartir, cualquier cosa. Hmm. Puede hablar de su trabajo, un, o, uh, sus intereses, algún lugar donde haya viajado. No, eh, no. Eh, interesting for me eh, is... Uh, my vacation, uh, my vacation, uh, próximo, bueno, no sé cómo decirlo. My próximo. next vacation. Uh, next the vacation, uh, I am, uh, I want, uh, ¿cómo se dice? I am, uh, voy a hacer, ¿sí? Viajar. You're going to, uh, I'm going to travel. A uh, travel. Ah, okay. okay. Where? Where, Manuel? Okay. Where? Okay. Where are you going to travel? Uh, United States. Ah, oh, okay. That's very interesting. Good. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Manuel, for sharing. Excellent. Okay. Bye. Eh, el próximo que me aparece es Edgar. So Edgar, can you share a little bit about you? Hi, teacher. Uh, hello. hello. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Edgar Edgar Menjiva. Uh, I work uh, supervisor avícola uh, salvadoreña. Uh, I like uh, to 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 music and. Eating, eating, eating all, eating, eating, eating all in in nineteen all. Oh, okay, very good, excellent, very good. Thank you very much, Edgar. Thank all you, right. teacher. Okay, next is um, the Juan Francisco. Okay. Hello, good evening. Nice to meet you all. Uh, my name is Juan Francisco Enrique González. I am 34 years old. 
I worried, I had two daughters, and I worked at Energia Borealis as an operation supervisor. Uh, my favorite hobby is reading manga, watch anime, and play video games, just that. Interesting, what, what is your favorite video game? Uh, 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 what, 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 <laughs> sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Do you remember the name? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Juan Francisco. Okay. Quiero ver quién más. Next is um, Ana. Ana Claudia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I was uh, late connecting to the meeting because um, the energy went out here in my area, but <laughs> I, <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you for um, for continuing um, to, to try and okay, <laughs> the important thing is you connected. Exactly. Uh, well, I'm happy to be part of this uh, group. I see my other classmates from the previous uh, a class. I see Heidi, also I see Melissa. I don't know who else is here. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm uh, connecting to my classes from Santana. Uh, I work in San Salvador. I used to travel every day, but thanks to the pandemic, I'm working at home. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh-huh so uh, i'm very happy to be here so let's learn as much as we can all right i like that attitude very <laughs> good. okay thank, thank you. you very much Anna You're welcome all right let's say hi to alex granado alex Yes. Hi, yes. Alex. Um, you want to, can you, can you introduce yourself to the class? Um, okay. Okay. Um, I am Alex Granados. I work uh, an accountant and I don't know. <laughs> I have, I, I am 30, 38 years old and I'm married, I have three children. I don't know, <laughs> that's all. All right, wonderful. And how many, how many children do you have? Uh, I have three children, two girls and one boy. Oh, okay, wow, okay, that's great. Excellent, okay, thank you very much, Alex, for sharing with us. Okay, let's say hi to Daniel, Daniel Toledo. Um, good night. I am Daniel Toledo. I work in, how do you say, auxiliar contable? Is a con assist? I mean. I, yeah, um, accountant assistant. Accounting assistant. Um, mm -hmm. With the Alex Uranaus. <laughs> um, um, only that. Okay, all right, very good, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, let me say hi to, let's see, um, Fabiola, Fabiola Georgina. Hi, my name is Fabiola Silva. I work in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. It's a company that sells liquor. I have a stone. My favorite food is sea food. My hobby is dancing. Only that. Okay. Your favorite hobby is what did you say? My favorite hobby. No, what, what did you say at the end? 
¿Qué, ¿Qué dijo al final que no le escuché bien? No solamente teacher only that. No, no, antes qué había dicho. My favorite food is the food. My hobby is dancing. I dancing. Have... Dancing. Ah, okay. Eso no lo había escuchado. Okay. All right. Good. Excellent. All right. What's your favorite uh, music to dance to? Mm, every, everything. No, no tengo favorita. A little bit of everything. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, uh, Fabiola, for sharing. Okay, let me say hi to, get a bit. Um, ya decimos hola a Ana Claudia. Ah, yes, yes, right? teacher. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, to, let's see. Josué, Josué Alberto. Hi, Miss Jessica. <laughs> I'm Josué Alberto Sáenz. I'm from San Miguel, but I work in Cotegna del Salvador in Chalatenango. Now I'm visiting my relative in, in San Miguel. It's so hot and I'm sweating a lot. Oh, I can only imagine. Can only imagine. <laughs> if it's really hot in San Salvador, I can only imagine yeah. what there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that, that must be torture. Okay. All right. Well, uh, um, yeah, you know, just hang in there. This is the worst. This is the worst month of the year. So you just have to, yeah. we just have to wait like, you know, maybe two or three more weeks and then maybe the heat will go down. So just. Yeah. Something I, I miss. Uh, how do you say clima? The sweater. The weather. Weather. Yeah. The, the weather. I miss the weather sometimes. Mm, yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I completely understand. Yeah. Okay, well, um, thank you for sharing a little bit of you, Josue. Good evening, uh, teacher. Good evening, Marvin. Yay, you were able to connect. Excellent. Yeah, all right. Excellent. Okay, let me say hi to um, Heidi, Heidi Eugenia. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Heidi Eugenia Salguero. Um, and something interesting about me, I can say it's that I love Michael Jackson's music. And I work for Banco Cuscatlan for the five for the past 25 years. And I'm really glad to see you, Ana Claudia and Melissa. The rest is new for me. So I'm glad to <laughs> meet you. <laughs> You've been working for 25 years at that bank? Right. Wow, that's a long time. Wow, that's 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 a lot of um uh, you know, you you've had a lot of patience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I mean, great. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. And do you like to listen to Michael Jackson songs? Do you dance to Michael Jackson too? I can't yeah. dance like him. No, you can. <laughs> I but wish I could. But... <laughs> dance to the music. But I love his music. Ah, okay. And you dance to the music too. I, I try, but... <laughs> but you dance to the music. Okay. Good. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Very good. Thank you for sharing uh, a little bit of you with us, Haiti. Um, well, welcome. Okay. We have uh, Juan Francisco. Sorry, I, I can't hear you. Juan. Ya, ya participé. Ah, ya participó, cierto, tiene razón. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Liliana, Liliana Melissa. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Well, my name is, is Liliana Melissa. Everybody call me by Melissa, just Melissa because I, I never use my first name. I, I also work at Distributora Salvadoreña and I'm in the marketing area. Okay, something interesting about you? 
Um, not at all. I, I, I think I now have something interesting. Just, I think it's, it's all my, my life is just work and spend time with my family. And there's no, it's not a big interesting thing in my life. All right. Do you have children? No, but I have two dogs that looks like children. Okay, which is also <laughs> part of the family, right? Yeah, totally. All right, got it. Okay, well, welcome, Liliana. Thank you. Thank for you. Today. All right. Um, Luis Ernesto? Hello, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. My, na my name is Luis Romero. I am 37 years old. I'm married and I have a job. I am industrial engineer and I work at CMAQ. I am in planning, I'm planning leader. And I like to, something interesting about me. I like to do photography. I like to take pictures. Mm -hmm. I am learning about, and I like to listen to the music. Um, uh, something else, I don't know, to spend time with my family. And I live in, in San Salvador. And I, I don't know, just that. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for sharing, Luis Ernesto. Welcome. Thank you. All right, good. Um, let me see who else, uh, Manuel Alejandro. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my, my name is Manuel Alejandro Rodriguez. Uh, I'm 22 years old. Uh, I live in, in Santana City. I work in Front of the Lume, El Salvador. My position is uh, a training engineer. I'm married, I have two children. Two children, okay. Boy and girl. You have a boy Excuse and a girl. Do you have a boy? Uh, one boy and one children, uh, one daughter. Okay, yeah. So the boy and the girl. Yes. All right, thank, thank you, you. Manuel, for sharing. Um, Marlene? Marlene Guevara? Hello? Something happened in our camera. Hi, Marlene, can you hear us? Marlene, are you there? Okay, uh, Marlene, can you hear us? Maybe she's having problems, technical problems. Okay, we'll go back to her later. Okay, uh, Marvin, welcome Marvin. Good evening teacher. Good evening, how are you? Very good. I see that you were able to come in. Thanks. Great, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, good night, good evening. I'm sorry, everybody. My name is Marvin Gonzalez. I work in Cotegna, El Salvador, and my position is operator system. And my hobby, uh, I like play basketball, football, and I like the music, rap, rock. Uh, this is all. Okay, all right. Very, very, very different, right? So you have you like a little bit of different kind of music. Yeah. Okay, good, excellent. Okay. Oh, there is Marlene again. Um, can you see I'm us? Sorry, oh, it's okay. Hi. All right. Okay. Great. I have a little problem with my phone. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Don't worry. We understand okay. technical problems. Okay. Tell us a little hey. bit. About my name is uh, Marlene Guevara. Uh, I live in San Salvador. Uh, I work at Iguana, Iguanas Tropicales. 
the company is in uh, San Luis Larradura, La Paz. Uh, I live with my, with my two children. Uh, I have a little baby. Uh, she, she is here with me. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, what is your uh, name? Uh, her, her name is uh, Valeria Sofia. Oh. Uh, Hi, Valeria. She, she, she is, she is uh, one years old. Oh, she's uh, so adorable. <laughs> thank you. Uh, she was born with the pandemic. It's a, oh. it's a little complicated, but uh, I am really oh. happy with, with her. Yeah, that must have been very complicated, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, so she's a survivor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, say broma? A joke. Uh, my my son. Uh, Jokes. Uh, jo uh, joke. Be, uh, he he say maybe uh, her name is uh, COVID. You know. <laughs> <It's> no. <not> <laughs> <ready>. <laughs> Um, <laughs> she yeah, yeah she came with the the rise of the pandemic oh no no but that's sweet yeah well she's adorable keep you know you i can tell that you take good care of her so yeah. yes maybe maybe she she learned uh, english yeah easily than me <laughs> yeah no you're absolutely right actually i'll tell you a little a little um i'll, I'll tell you a little bit a story about it since I'm, we're talking about, um, you know, talking about ourselves, and I'm going to tell you something about um, about my son. My son uh, easily was able to understand uh, me speaking to him in English immediately, um, probably even more than Spanish, just because simply when I he was in my tummy, he was listening to me speaking English you know, the whole day as I was giving classes. So um, after that, I feel personally, I feel my son reacts better to English than Spanish. He feels like it, yeah, that I, I think he kind of feels like that I'm more like he's more so, like empathetic to the language. So yeah, I, I, I definitely agree. I, I think that she just listening to, to um, English will help her. So yeah, keep mm. her keep her nearby. <laughs> yeah, as Thank long you. as you're able to concentrate, yeah, just keep her nearby. That's great. Well, good. Um, it's good to be able to meet you, Marlene. Nice to meet you. And thanks nice for meeting us. Okay. Okay. Let's see who else do we have. Oh, we have lots. Um, let me see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Warner. Hi, Warner. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, teacher. Good, good. Okay. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, sorry, teacher. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is uh, Werner Reyes. I work in, in the Salvadorian Fencing Federations. I perform in the position of national team coach in the FOI speciality. Uh, my hobby is uh, cooking, uh, listen music, and dancing. Uh, I am married. I have a son, uh, uh, 16 years old. Um, I don't know. That's it. Okay. Howdy, teacher. All right. That's not great. That's great. Excellent. Okay. What do you like to cook? What's your favorite thing to cook, Warner? Um, uh, I like, uh, I like, especially is uh, on the barbecue, uh, especially pork or ribbit mm. or beef. Um, wow. I've gotten hungry now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Warner. Okay. Um, let me see who. Uh, Noemi, Noemi Cordova is there? Good evening, everybody. Good, Good evening. evening. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. 
Good, good. What do you want to tell us? What do you want to share with us? Thank you. Excuse me, teacher. What do you want to tell us? Or did you, you already passed? No. No. No, you haven't presented yourself, right, Naomi? You haven't introduced yourself to the class? No. Okay, tell us about yourself. Tell us about who you are. Um, my name is Noemi de Valencia. Uh, I'm, uh, I work in Alianza Football Club. I am accounting. Mm, I like, I like it. I like the dancing. Um, I like this place, a uh, different place. Hmm. Okay, good, 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 excellent. What place, what is your favorite place, Naomi? Uh, uh, the beach. The beach. Uh, Monka. Okay, sounds good. Excellent. All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Naomi. Um, quiero ver qué más nos falta. Uh, eh, Andrés Giovanni ya, ya pasó. Oh. No, no ha pasado, ¿verdad? Okay, all right, tell us a little bit about yourself, Andrés. Hello, everyone. My name is Andres Giovanni Valdivieso. Uh, I'm really happy to see you again and nice to meet my new classmates. Uh, I live in Caratenango. I am 36 years old and I like to watch movies, watch soccer games, play video games, and play football. So, all right, what's your favorite video game? FIFA. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you, Andres. All right, um, let me see who's next. Is it Janet, are you there? Good evening, hello, teacher. Good evening, how are you, Etsy? I'm fine, teacher, thank you. Good, what can you tell us about yourself? Okay, my name is Lexi Janet Ramirez. I work at ETS Consulting as Commercial Senior Executive. And my favorite food is seafood. And my favorite hobbies are uh, going to the beach and going to the dancing. And I have a 20 years old daughter. And only that. All right, excellent. So last last uh, course, Elsie uh, was in um, in San Francisco, and now today she's in the jungle, in la selva. <laughs> it's changed. Okay, that's great. Wow, you you go to different places. That's wonderful. I love it. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank okay. you. All right. Quiero ver qué más me Ah, Suleima, Yvonne. Good evening, teacher. Good evening to everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Yvonne Moreno. I work at Balsamar Manufacturing in Ciudad Arce. Um, something interesting about me, well, um, I'm a chocolate lover. Uh, I have two little dogs in my house. I live in Santa Ana. And I like to watch uh, some series. Um, uh, I don't like uh, scary movies, <laughs> uh, nothing. Um, um, I don't like, uh, I, I, I don't have a favorite food but I have a favorite breakfast. <laughs> and my favorite breakfast is waffles. I love waffles. And uh, something else, I like 
to make uh, some crafts. Uh, for example, I like to work with uh, foamy and uh, flower, some flowers. And uh, I like to do uh, many crafts in my free time. Sounds great. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, waffles are great. Waffles are one of my favorite food as well. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, great. And Carla, Carmecano. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Carla? Okay. Yeah, my name is Carla Cano. I live in Soyapango. I work for uh, Burger King. I'm a manager in a restaurant. I have 30 years old. I have two, two cute sons. Um, and I, I like to visit different places in my country. And I, and I love learn some, some uh, news. And um, I love uh, listen to music, for example, uh, rock and maybe rap. And that's all, I think. All right, very good, excellent. All right, very good. Thanks, Carla, for sharing. Creo que estamos todos, ¿verdad? O hay alguien que me falta? ¿Hay alguien que no haya pasado, que no haya participado? No, ok, good. Ok, all right, guys, excellent. Uh, bueno, thank you very much for sharing a little bit of you with um, the class. Uh, it was very important for us to be able to get to know each other. Like I said, uh, we have new um, new faces and um, it's it's so great to be able to be together as a class. So that's wonderful. Um, and we're going to be here um, together. We're going to be um, working together as a class. That's wonderful. And I'm glad um, to see that enthusiasm in many of you. Okay, so class, um, before we begin, let me share with you um, some of uh, the PowerPoint presentation I want to share. Uh, and let me know um, if you can see it. Okay, so let me share this with you. Just give me a moment. Um, okay, hold on, give me a moment. Okay, can you see this? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, wonderful. All right, so uh, the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going through the, um, the uh, policies of um, INSAFORP so that you all know what to expect, right? Okay, so this is course English for Work Program Basic Module 5, okay? So um, let's take a look. So I'm going to um, say this part in Spanish so that it's completely clear for everybody what, um, what is expected of you for, for from, um, from INSAFORP, okay? So, voy a pasarme al español solo un momentito. Ok, requerimientos. Um, estos son tanto requerimientos que uh, nosotros como inglés corporativo les pedimos, como más que todo, más que nada es de INSAFOR, ¿verdad? Porque como ustedes saben, nosotros nos regimos completamente por eh, lo que INSAFOR nos indica con este programa. Eh, entonces, eh, más que todo son ellos los que uh, nos um, dirigen ahí en, en lo que se espera, ¿verdad? Lo primero es, dice, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Esto es muy importante, ¿verdad? Que usted no solo, que usted ponga su nombre completo, tal como aparece en su DUI. ¿Por qué es importante que se haga de esa forma? Porque eh, de esa forma uh, usted, uh, cuando, cuando se conecta, va a aparecer con el nombre correcto. Porque si nosotros solamente ponemos, por ejemplo, un nombre, eh, soy el primer nombre, por decirle algo. Entonces, así va a aparecer en, eh, en, 
um, ¿cómo se llama? En, uh, ¿cómo le en el video, ¿verdad? Entonces es importante que usted uh, se inscriba ahí con su nombre completo. Ahora, si acaso por X motivo usted um, no, se, no, no se puso un nombre completo, ustedes ya saben cómo poder cambiar su nombre en la, en la plataforma, en la plataforma de Zoom. ¿Saben ustedes cómo hacerlo? Yes. No, yo no. No saben. Ok, bye. Vamos, vamos a hacerlo. Bye. Eh, si usted, en, bye. Si usted uh, pone el mouse sobre su imagen, o sea, sobre el cuadrito de su ah, okay. imagen, Ustedes, no sé si le van, si ustedes ven que les va a aparecer un, um, unos Menú. tres puntitos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, en esos tres puntitos, si usted le da clic izquierdo, ¿Mm? aparece, dice en la parte de abajo. Rename. Exacto, rename, okay. verbo, no sé si en español se dice, como, no sé cómo les aparece. Renombrar, renombrar. Ok, muy bien. Ok, entonces eh, ahí solamente le apretan. Y ya les okay. va a aparecer un cuadrito donde um, ahí entonces ustedes pueden poner el nombre que les, usted quiera que aparezca y le pone solo OK, ¿verdad? Y entonces ya les va a aparecer. Es bien sencillo. No sé si hay alguien ahí que mm, se haya perdido con esa aplicación. ¿Quiera que le explique nuevamente? Pero eso es en el caso de oyentes, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, bueno, mire, uh, la verdad es que es, en, eh, es para todos. Esto es para ah, okay. todos. Aunque co, um, tiene to, toda la razón. Um, eso vamos a ver en, en el próximo punto. Ah, ok. Es, dice, en el caso de oyentes, ¿verdad? Porque eh, quiero que ustedes sepan um, de que uh, tenemos um, algunas personas que para, para motivos de Instafor, ellos um, los, los se consideran como oyentes de la casa, sin embargo, van a estar con nosotros en todo el módulo y van a estar haciendo, participando en todas las actividades, tal como todos, ¿verdad? Así es de que eh, aquí solamente por, um, por fines ahí de, de fines administrativos de, de INSAFOR, vamos entonces en el caso de los oyentes, que ustedes ya saben quiénes son, vamos a agregar la palabra oyente entre paréntesis. O sea, va a estar su nombre completo y en paréntesis va a poner la palabra oyente. ¿Verdad? Luego de su nombre. ¿Está, está claro? Entonces, sí, si acaso, como les voy a decir, si no les aparece eh, la palabra oyente y usted quiere renombrarlo, ya sabe cómo hacerlo. Solo se va a su imagen, le hace clic izquierdo con... Um, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Um, con, sí, clic izquierdo con, eh, el, en los puntitos y ahí el menú. El menú, correcto. Tercer punto, cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Ok, eh, esto es un requerimiento de Insafort directamente. Eh, es un, Insafort nos pide de que así lo hagamos durante toda la clase. Así es que eh, ustedes ya saben, ¿verdad? Um, ya es, creo que para todos no es algo nuevo, ¿verdad? Así es que es importante que ustedes tengan todo el tiempo encendida su cámara, ¿verdad? Eh, si acaso en este momento usted no la tiene encendida, le hacemos eh, la cordial invitación a que lo haga en este momento, de encender su cámara, ¿ok? Próximo, el próximo punto es minimizar el sonido ambien, ambiente lo más posible. Entonces, yo sé que ustedes todos están en su casita, ¿verdad? Con, posiblemente viven uh, con otras personas y eh, quizás con varias personas y obviamente eh, no todos tal vez ten, uh, eh, tenemos esta, esta, um, este privilegio de tener algún, uh, un espacio completamente eh, para nosotros, entonces en ese caso obviamente va a haber un poco de ruido ambiental. Lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a minimizarlo de diferentes maneras. Como, por ejemplo, lo primero que podemos hacer es um, si acaso usted sabe que hay mucho ruido a su alrededor, puede utilizar un, um, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Um, eso no se me viene la palabra en inglés. Um, eh, 
audífonos, pueden usar audífonos, ¿verdad? Eh, para que ustedes puedan, solamente, solamente ustedes puedan escuchar la clase, ¿verdad? Y también de esa forma eh, su, el micrófono esté más cerca de usted, ¿verdad? Lo otro es man, mantengamos las, el micrófono apagado, eh, al menos de que vayamos a participar en ese momento, ¿verdad? De lo contrario, te, tengamos ese cuidado de siempre apagar el micrófono, pero si no lo estamos utilizando. Y por último, vamos a tener la participación activa. Esto es muy importante porque, uh, pues, acuérdense que estamos aquí para aprender inglés, eh, para poder utilizarlo en la vida diaria. Entonces, eso va a requerir de que pues aprendamos a expresarnos en inglés. Eh, sé que a veces es un poquito difícil porque pues um, tal vez nos dé un poquito de pena, ¿verdad? Decimos, oh, pero es que yo no, no sé mucho, ¿verdad? O puede ser que tal vez um, nuestra personalidad sea ¿verdad? un poco tímidos. Eh, también lo entiendo perfectamente porque créanlo o no, yo soy bastante tímida. Entonces entiendo esa parte. Pero acuérdense que la única forma de poder realmente aprender bien un idioma es practicar. Tenemos que obtirarnos a practicar. Y eso significa de que vamos a cometer errores, está bien. Nada, no pasa nada, nos cometemos errores eh, y aprendemos y continuamos. Y continuamos con el siguiente nivel, pero hemos aprendido. Eso es lo importante. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita sobre estos requerimientos? ¿No? Ok. Bueno, sigamos. Eh, próximamente le vamos a dar acerca de asistencia. La asistencia debemos de tener un 100% de la clase. Eso es lo que vamos a tratar de... Um, esa es nuestra meta, digamos. El tener el 100% de asistencia. ¿Verdad? Eh, Claro está de que entendemos que a veces hay situaciones que están fuera de nuestro control eh, y pues uh, puede ser que no lleguemos al 100, ¿verdad? Pero dentro de lo que podamos nosotros hacer, ¿verdad? lo que está dentro de nuestro alcance, tratemos de hacer el 100%. Eso significa que tendremos que eh, de conectarnos temprano, ¿verdad? Eh, si es posible un poco des, antes de la hora para que cuando ya empiece la clase, pues ya estamos conectados, ¿verdad? Ya, ya estamos listos. Acuérdense también de que, um, de que la clase, pues también eh, tenemos que eh, quedarnos hasta finalizar la clase, ¿verdad? Eh, porque si no, pues también ah, perdemos esos minutos. Y, eh, y nuevamente, como les digo, yo sé que a veces suceden cosas a um, mis entrevistas por ejemplo, el día de hoy, pues a, a, algunos habían puesto en el chat, ¿verdad? Que no tenían eh, energía eléctrica y eso se entiende y todo. Ah, entonces, lo mejor que nosotros podamos hacer es rebuscarnos, ¿verdad? De alguna forma para que no, pueda, no perdamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso les sugería que si era posible, tal vez conectarse con datos, um, ¿verdad? O tal vez um, pedirle... Um, si nosotros no tenemos los datos, ¿verdad? Pero tal vez pedirle a alguien que nos preste, ¿verdad? De tal forma de que podamos cumplir, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense que es un compromiso que cada uno de, de, de nosotros ha adquirido, ¿verdad? Entonces, hemos dicho, sí, puedo estar al 100% de la clase, es de que tratemos de cumplir con ello. Uh, dice, la asistencia no solamente se toma a estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la clase completa. Como les decía, no solamente... Vamos a hacer acto de presencia unos cuantos minutos y nos vamos a desconectar. Pero solamente nos vamos a conectar a la hora de, de que toman asistencia y después nos aparecemos. No, tiene que estar la clase completa. Eh, y hablando de eso, la asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones, 8 de la noche, de la, de la, de la noche y a las 9.45, un poquito antes de, de las 10, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces eso, como, pero nuevamente les vuelvo a recalcar de que no solamente se van a conectar a estas horas, ¿verdad? Y decir, ah, ya, entonces ya la teacher va a saber que No, porque de hecho nosotros tomamos asistencia de cuántos minutos ustedes se han conectado, ¿verdad? Así de que les hago saber para que ustedes eh, estén sabedores. 
Próximo punto se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir present, present o presente y tener cámara encendida. Entonces, por favor, al momento de pasar la asistencia, eh, quiero que ustedes um, participen, abren su micrófono y digan sí, present ¿verdad? en inglés o presente en español y asegúrense de tener su cámara encendida, al menos que haya algo muy especial por las que no pueden hacerlo. Próximo punto, sesión 1 a 1 disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al a finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador, siendo de carácter obligatorio asistir a dichas a sesiones. Entonces, um, eso significa de que todos um, tenemos una programación, ¿verdad? Y en el que vamos a tener una sesión a uno a uno. Eh, si ustedes tienen preguntas o quieren aclarar algo, pues vamos a habilitar esos 10 minutos para que ustedes puedan um, preguntar lo que quieren y puedan tener la ayuda necesaria. De, les, de preferencia les sugiero de que Ustedes tal vez vayan anotando, ¿verdad? Para la sesión que les toca, vayan anotando algún punto que ustedes quieran aclarar, algo que quieran ustedes um, que se les explique mejor, algo que, alguna sugerencia que ustedes necesiten, etcétera, etcétera. Para que de esa forma ustedes ya, eh, cuando llegue el momento, pues uh, realmente les podamos, util podamos utilizar esos 10 minutos de la mejor manera posible. Y por último, permisos no disponibles. En otras palabras, eh, no estamos nosotros autorizados eh, como inglés corporativo para darles permisos para ausencias. O sea, en otras palabras, eh, apreciamos mucho que nos hagan saber qué es lo que ha pasado, ¿verdad? Pero eh, no, no ponemos nosotros a dar, no tenemos esa autorización para decirle, sí, sí, usted puede faltar. ¿Verdad? Eso realmente no, no nos compete a nosotros, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, um, solo dejarles saber eso, ¿verdad? Que como les digo, las, eh, se les, la, eh, la, la, um, la responsabilidad que se ha adquirido es de, de tratar de asistir al 100% de la clase. ¿Alguna preguntita sobre esto? No, no teacher. Ok, seguimos con la próxima. Tareas y evaluaciones. Eh, dice, es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Ustedes, que es, como, como les digo, pues no es la mayoría, creo que no es la primera vez. Entonces ya saben que ustedes necesitan mínimo un 80% en la plataforma. Eh, lo bueno de la plataforma es de que les da la oportunidad de seguir intentando vez tras vez, tras vez, tras vez, cuantas veces usted quiera y ese porcentaje va subiendo. Si usted, entre más usted practica y lo, lo tiene correcto, mejor le, le sube la, la, el porcentaje y al final puede obtener, si es posible, un 100%, ¿verdad? Si usted sigue practicando, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso, la, eso es la ventaja, ¿verdad? Pero sí, mínimo el 80%, ¿verdad? Eh, y eso es, uh, entre, bueno, aquí sigamos con el próximo, dice, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Entonces, en, en, po, en pocas palabras, eh, tiene que completar todas las tareas. Son 20, 20 días, 20 um, clases y por lo tanto son 20 tareas. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Esto es bien importante. Um, y les digo, eh, como maestro, nosotros tenemos que eh, cada semana actualizar sus, um, sus tareas, ¿verdad? O más bien sus, eh, sus calificaciones. Entonces, esto por lo tanto tiene que estar ya completo uh, ya para la medianoche del viernes para que ya el sábado se pueda ir sin ningún problema. La fecha límite para terminar el examen eh, medio es el lunes 26 de abril antes de la medianoche. Um, perdón, este creo que vamos a cambiar un poquito por 
Ah, perdón, sí, no, no, perdón. Es correcto. El midterm, sí, ese es el midterm para el lunes 26 de abril. Ok. Eh, acuérdense, midterm significa que es el, el examen de la mitad del curso. Entonces, por eso es de que es esta fecha. Ok. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final o el final exam es el martes 11 de mayo antes de la medianoche. Ok. Eh, no so, ¿Por qué? Porque ese es el último día de clase. Entonces, usted tiene hasta el la medianoche de ese martes para completarlo. Porque vamos a terminar un martes, eh, cuando em hemos empezado martes, bien sencillo, porque el día antes del último día de clase es un día feriado, ¿verdad? Es, es un día sueto y por lo tanto no se va a tener clase ese día, por eso. De lo contrario, hubiéramos terminado un lunes, pero vamos a terminar el día martes 11 de mayo, por lo tanto, ese es el último día que ustedes pueden finalizar el, el examen final. Y por último, el eh, manual puede ser descar eh, descargado de la plataforma. No se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Ok, ¿alguna preguntita que ustedes tengan sobre esas tareas y evaluaciones? No. ¿Claro como el agua? Yes, teacher. Bien. Perfecto. Y por último, uh, plataforma de Zoom. Hablemos acerca de lo que hay que, lo que se espera con la plataforma de Zoom. Primero, utilizar el botón de silencio. Eh, como les mencionaba anteriormente, queremos nosotros eh, asegurarnos de que minimicemos el ruido ambiental. Eh, ya sé, todos ustedes saben cómo controlar ¿Verdad? El micrófono, ¿verdad? El botón de, de, de silencio, ¿verdad? Me imagino que sí, ¿verdad? ¿O alguna persona tiene alguna duda sobre eso? No, ¿verdad? Yo, sí, estoy bastante segura que no. La cámara también, por favor, como les mencionaba, encendida, ¿verdad? Eh, y asegúrense que esté encendida. A veces, ah, por X motivos, a veces le apretamos un botón y ¡pum! Se nos apaga, ¿verdad? Entonces, aseguremos siempre, si ustedes tienen dudas, Hagan ahí en su mouse, ¿verdad? Y, y o, bueno, de hecho, en su pantalla debería de aparecer su nombre eh, con una pantalla negra si es que usted no tiene la cámara encendida. El chat, vamos a estar utilizando chats de Zoom. Eh, y eso es para comunicarnos. A veces pueden, puede ser que tengamos problemas de audio y quieren ustedes utilizar eso para comunicar y decir algo. O puede ser que lo utilicemos también para algunas palabras que tal vez ustedes no, no, no entiendan. Pueden escribirla, ¿verdad? Eh, y, um, y cualquier otra cosa que ustedes que me comunicar ahí con sus compañeros y conmigo. Y vamos a estar utilizando los breakout rooms para poder hacer diferentes actividades, ¿verdad? Hacer parejas, hacer grupos pequeños, etcétera, etcétera. Y por último, hablar acerca del botón de Ask for Help. Esto es cuando se ha habilitado los breakout rooms. Si están en un grupo pequeño y el profesor no está ahí, ustedes pueden pe pedir ayuda, ¿verdad? Si tienen alguna pregunta, si no saben qué hacer, qué sé yo. Entonces, o a veces, a veces me ha pasado de que los pongo en pareja y entonces la pareja de esa persona por X motivo no se metió y la, el pobrecito está solo ahí en el, en el cuarto, ¿verdad? Entonces, a, a, pidan ayuda, por favor, díganme, porque si no, a veces yo no me doy cuenta que su compañero no ha ingresado y usted está solito. Entonces, eh, pidan ayuda para que de esa forma yo pueda eh, identificar y lo pueda mover, mover a, otro, a otro grupo y tenga con quién hablar, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿alguna pregunta sobre eso? No. Ok. Juan Francisco, ¿tenía alguna pregunta? No, Ah, ok. Ok. Bueno. No tengan pena de preguntar. Si, si quieren hacer cualquier pregunta de lo que hemos visto el día de hoy, con gusto les responderé. Bueno, entonces en ese caso vamos a... Vamos a terminar esos um, lineamientos.
eh, es bien importante que todos sepamos esto el primer día de clase para que no hayan ningunos malos entendidos eh, durante el, el resto de clase y también para que se sepa ¿verdad? qué es lo que se espera de cada uno de nosotros. Eh, y pues hablando de que la asistencia es importante, tomemos asistencia. Ah, quiero ver, vamos a empezar un momentito. Ok. Ok, empecemos. Vamos a ver. Um, uh oh, un momentito. Estoy tratando de ubicar. Perdón, había abierto el, el, el documento equivocado. Ok, bueno, hoy sí ya lo tengo correcto. Va, vale, entonces empecemos. Um, acuérdense, la idea es tener sus cámaras encendidas y cuando mencione su nombre digan present. Okay, esa es la idea. O presente, como ustedes quieran. Okay, let's begin. Um, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, Andrés Giovanni? Present teacher. Great. Edgar Alfredo? Present, present teacher. Okay. Present. Elsie Janet? Present teacher. Great. Fabiola uh, Georgina? Present teacher. Great. Francisco Javier? Present teacher. All right. Heidi Eugenia? Here. Great. Uh, Irene Azucena? Irene Azucena? Última vez. Irene Azucena? Ok. Seguimos. Uh, Josué Alberto? Present teacher. Great, thank you. Juan Francisco. Great. Carla Cano. Present teacher. Great. Liliana Melissa. Present. Okay, wonderful. Luis Ernesto. Present. Great. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay, Manuel de Jesús. Present. Okay, Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy Patricia. Wendy Patricia. Wendy Patricia, no. Última vez, Wendy Patricia. Okay, Warner. Present teacher. Okay, great. Soy la Noemi. Present teacher. Great. Suley Maivon. Present. Great. Eh, Daniel de los Santos. Present teacher. All right. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. No. Última vez. Jorge Alberto. Ok, let's continue. Uh, Marlene Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok, great. And Ricardo Alexander. Ricardo Alexander. I'm here. Ok, wonderful. Great. Thank you, Ricardo. So, nos hacen falta yes, solo. I'm here. Uh, Irene Susena. No, ¿verdad? Eh, Wendy Patricia. Tampoco. Y 
Jorge Alberto. Okay. Perfecto. All right, let's continue then. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start then with the class. Uh, we're, everybody has the manual. Everybody has downloaded the manual. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah, because everybody sh needs to have the manual. Okay. Um, okay. All right, so let me share with you. Um, tell me when you can, you can see my PowerPoint presentation. Can you see my PowerPoint presentation? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so, Beginner module five, unit one. That's what we're going to be looking at today. The date is Tuesday, April 13th, 2021, and it's day number one. Your teacher, Jessica Guerrero. Okay. All right. And that's me. <laughs> okay. All right. So, first of all, we have here a conversation between Anna and Mark. Okay. Um, Anna, Mark are talking about the process of a manufacturing of a, a product, okay? So what we're gonna do right now is we're going to begin by reading this conversation, okay? And um, I want you, um, I, well, I, I want you to, I'm going, we're gonna read it little by little, Okay, and I want you to repeat after me, okay? So we're gonna start here. We have Mark, would you explain us? Now your turn. Mark. Mark, Mark. Mark. would you explain Mark. us? Would you explain us? Good. What the manufacturing? What, what the manufacturing, manufacturing process is? Process. Absolutely. 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 This is how we make our. This is how, this is how, we, how we make our, 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 our top seller. Top, top, top seller. seller. First, 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 we add a thick layer. We, we add, add a thick layer. layer. Of chocolate. 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 Good. Uh, chocolate. Be, be careful. It's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. It's chocolate. 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 Exactly. Chocolate. Second. 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 We add a thin layer. We, we add, add a thin layer, 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 layer of, of sliced almonds. Of, 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 of sliced, sliced almonds. 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 Good. Uh, I want you also to notice um, that the D is not almond. pronounced. Almond. It's not almonds. No, almond. it's almonds. 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 Almond. Almond. So the D is silent. Okay. Almonds. Okay. Almonds. The D, Almonds. you do not pronounce the D. It's almonds. 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 Good. Very good. Sounds great. Sounds, Sounds great. great. And then? And then? And then? then. Finally, 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 we add ginger. We, we add, add ginger. ginger. We add ginger. But what about people? What about, what about people? people? Who are diabetic? Who are diabetic? Can they eat it? Can they, they eat it? I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not going, going to lie. lie. 
the amount of sugar the amount, the amount, of, the amount of sugar, sugar. Okay. is too high it is too, too high. high we consider we consider, consider those customers those, those customers. customers and we have other products and we, we have, have other, other products. Products. products we have a candy bar we, we have, have a candy, candy bar, bar. And bubble gum. And bubble, bubble, gum. bubble gum. With zero sugar content. With zero, zero sugar, sugar, sugar content. content. Good. Uh, be careful with this word. It's not sugar. It's not sugar. sugar. It's sugar. 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 Good. The sugar. S sounds like shh, right? So it's sugar. 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 And sugar. Careful, this is not sugar. zero. It's not zero. Zero. It's zero. 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 Good. With zero sugar. Good. Okay. Great. 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 Let's take a look. Let's, Let's take a look. A lot. A lot. Okay, good. All right, there you go. Bravo. Very good pronunciation, guys. All right. Um, good. Okay, what words do you not understand from this conversation? Write in the chat any words that you are not familiar with. Words that you want to know about. What's the meaning of layers? Okay, you can write, if you want, you can write the, in, um, in the chat the words that you don't understand. And that way everybody can see the word and we can talk about it. Okay, so write the word in the chat. Okay. Good. We have some good words there. Hmm? Okay. Ting. Ting layer. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Great. Um. So we have a few words there that uh, you do not know the meaning. We're going to check the meaning. And talk before we look at the, the meaning of words, let's look at pronunciation. This word here, this word here is pronounced diabetic. 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 Okay. So dia, diabetic. 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 Dia. Diabetic. Not dija, but diabetic. Dia. Diabetic. 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 Correct. Okay. All right. Let's so now that we've seen uh, the pronunciation, let's look at the vocabulary. So the first word that um, I see people want to know about is the word almonds. Almonds are a type of nut. Okay, it's a type of nut um, that you that is very common uh, that you find together with chocolate. Um, so, a, a, the almond, the the, the shape. Oops, all right, guys. Let me try that again. Okay, um, the shape of the almond. It's a nut that's sh shaped like this. I love that you're drawing. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I'm not a good drawer. I will, I will, I will be honest. I'm not a good drawer, but I, I can try. Okay. No, that is good. <laughs> okay, so it's a nut that, that is, it, it's a shape like this. Okay, Elma. Okay. 
Okay. Um, exactly. Amen. Yes. Very good. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, some of the things that uh, that you will be very helpful is that when we're talking about somebody's appearance, we you, we sometimes talk about almond shaped eyes. Almond shaped eyes. I'm going to write it down here. And this is just. Eso, o sea, esto no tiene nada que ver con si la clase, pero es vocabulario que les puede ayudar. Es como se dice. Almond shaped eyes. Almond shaped shape. And eyes. that means that they are oh. eyes that oh, have the shape of an almond. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like Forma in de Spanish. Ojos. In Spanish you say? Forma de ojos. Ojos almendrados. Ah. Ah, exactly. Ojos almendrados. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. That's almond. So that's almond shaped eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Uh, next word um, that you, I can see that you guys are asking about is, let's see, um, top seller. Top seller, um, it means the seller, the person that sells things that is like the best, the best, or either a person or a product, okay? So in this case, we have um, top seller means the product that we sell the most. That's like the, the, the product that is like the most popular, let's say. Okay. Like a product number one or seller. Sorry? Is uh, like a product number one of seller? Exactly. It's product. It's the number one product. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Number one product. That's right on the on the spot. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Quiero ver otro layer. Okay. Um, where did we have layer? Oh, here. Okay. Um, the word layer. Okay. The best way that I can describe layer is reminding you about la lasagna. You know, you have all eaten lasagna? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So lasagna is is a, a it's a food, it's a dish that's composed of many layers. Okay, many, many layers. Okay, so First, at the bottom, you may have a layer of, um, of uh, meat, okay? So um, it has a little bit of chick or, like chicken or, or um, beef, okay? And then on top of that, maybe you have a layer, a layer of cheese. And then on top of that, you have a layer of pasta. And then again, meat, cheese, Pasta, meat, cheese, pasta. That's layer. Do you understand layer? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. In Spanish, how do you say layer? Capas. Capas, exactly. Very, very good. Delgadas. Okay. Now, um, the word thin. Um, let me let me illustrate to you what it means to have what thin means. Um, give me a moment. Fat. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's the opposite. <laughs> okay. It, okay. So a thin layer. You do you see over here? I have I have underlined the word layer. Well, I could, that's very thick, okay? But if I want to make a thin line, it would be like this, right? Do you see the difference? This is thin line, this is a thick line. Thin, thick. So thin is means it's very, very small and thick is bigger, okay? How do you say thin in Spanish? Delgado. 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 Okay, so means the layers are very thin. 
right? So not big, yeah. big layers, yeah. but thin layers, okay? Okay, let's see uh, the other word. Yeah. Is sliced, okay. So you were asking about the word sliced. Um, where did we have sliced? Sliced. Sliced means that you cut in very thin layers, okay? Uh, for example, think about uh, bread, okay? You cut the bread in slices, okay? Ya que les, les gusta ahí las, uh, mis dibujos, <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> Um, I'm going to draw. Uh, okay, let's say a let's say a piece of bread. Okay, almost like. Oh no, hold on. Imagine this is a loaf of bread. Okay. Okay. This is. Acaba acaban de 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 hacer pan. Como dicen pan de caja. Mm -hmm. okay. And then, and then what we're going to do is we're going mm -hmm. to cut, we're going to cut slices of bread so that we can like the bread for a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. A slice. Or rebanadas. Or rebanadas, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that way we can have nice pieces for our sandwich. Okay. Got it? Yes, yeah? teacher. Yes. All right, good, good, good. Um, let's see. Um, a ver, ¿cuál otra palabra tenemos acá? Um, bubble gum. Bubble gum is gum uh, for chewing. Okay. You know about you know gum, right? Right, the gum. Okay, and uh, bubble gum is the type of gum that you can make a big bubble. Okay, so imagine imagine this girl was uh, was uh, she was chewing gum. Okay, a bubble gum. Okay, so she's she, she's making a big bubble. Well, actually, hold on. <laughs> okay, so this girl is chewing gum. She's chewing gum, and if she makes a big a big bubble with her gum. She's, you know, she's probably making this big bubble with the gum, right? That would be bubble gum, okay? She makes a big bubble. Do we understand bubble gum? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Right, okay. Okay, let's see. What was the other word? Oh, thick, thick. Um, I'm just a thick. I guess you already explained it. Yeah, I did. I, did. I just wanna. I I just wanna check that everybody understands it. Um, I don't know. Did I? Is thick Is it there? the fourth line? Ah, yes. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, exactly. I did already explain it, but just to make sure that everybody understands and it's completely clear. Um, thin, right? We have, uh, right now we have th a thin line here. Uh -huh. And then thick, a thick line would be like this. Okay? So that's the difference. Thin, very small. Thick, very big. Okay? All right, and I think that's it. Let me just check. Yeah, I already explained um, top seller. Okay. All right, I think that's it. Everybody understands all the vocabulary, right? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. I have okay. a question. Yeah, go ahead. What is your question? Uh, six. The, the verso is six, the enfermo. What's the difference uh, in the pronunciation? Oh, between six. Okay. Um, this is with a TH. Okay. Uh, remember the TH. In, in Spanish, it's pronounced, sorry, it's, it's sorry, in English, the TH is pronounced similar to Spanish when you have the letter Z. You know, like uh, think about the word, think about this word right here. Uh, see? Think of word, about the word. Um, How do you say that in Spanish? Zapato. Correctly said. O sea, no, no, o sea, si estamos hablando la manera correcta de, de, de pronunciar, de pronunciar, pronunciar, pronunciar esta palabra, eh, sería zapato. Zapato. No, no zapato, aunque, aunque sí. Y muchas veces decimos zapato, pero es zapato. Okay? Así como. Sí. Zorro. zorro. No es zorro. Es zorro. Zorro. Ajá. O zorrillo. Right? Okay. So the pronunciation of the Z. Uh, sorry. The, yeah. The pronunciation of the Z in Spanish is similar to the pronunciation of the TH in English. So this is not pronounced sick, it's thick. Sick. Thick. Which is different from sick, which is with an S, right? Okay. Sorry. Thick is not the same. Is not the same as sick. Thick. So thick is not the same as sick. So this is thick, thick, and this is sick. Delgado. Okay. Do you, do you, do you hear the difference? Yes, it's clear. Yeah? Okay. Good. Thank Anything you. else? No, sure. Just okay. Good. All right. So what we're going to do right now, we're, I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs, and I want you to practice this conversation with your partner. Also, if you notice, there are some questions here at the bottom about this conversation. The first question is, what are the words Mark used to indicate the parts of the manufacturing process? And what are the negative sides of Mark's product? So two questions I want you to discuss with your partner after you have practice reading. Remember, practice not only the pronunciation, but also try to practice fluency, okay? So don't be like going choppy, not like, Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is. No, that would be very choppy. I want you to be very natural and fluent. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? So try to be as fluent as possible when you're practicing. And then when you're finished, switch. So if the first time you were Anna, the second time you will, you will be Mark, okay? All right, and answer these questions. So I'm going to give you um, however, I'd say about five minutes to practice the conversation and answer the questions. Okay, so are the instructions clear? Yes. Perfect. Okay, um, I'm going to get you to work in breakout rooms. Como les decía anteriormente, si llegasen a estar solitos, ¿verdad? De que por X motivo su pareja no se incorporó, no se me quedan ahí solamente sin hacer nada, ¿verdad? Piden ayuda y así los muevo a otro, a otro grupo, ¿ok? Um, 
All right, so let me open up right now the rooms. Go ahead and join. Any problems? Ricardo, eh, ¿tiene algún problema? Ah, ya, ya, ya me acordé. Francisco, Javier, no. Juan Francisco? Con lo último terminé. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Es algo lento. Hi guys, do you have any questions? Uh, eh, no, no teacher, for the moment no. Okay. Solo que estoy, descar solo que estoy descargando el, el libro, pero ya está. Ahorita. Okay, good. All right. So go ahead and practice the conversation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mar, will you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. So, customers, and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Right, let's take a look. Okay, so now you can switch, right? Yeah, yeah. So, or have you already switched? Yes, teacher. Is it yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. perfect. All right, so then you can go ahead and um, uh, and, and answer the questions. Okay. What are the words Mark used to indicate a part of the manufacturing process? ¿Cuáles fueron las palabras que, que Mar usó para indicar las la partes la parte del proceso de fabricación? Uh -huh. Remember, try to keep it in English as much as possible. Ok. <laughs> ok. Mm, first sería, voy a a thick layer of chocolate three. Uh, Make a top seller, I guess. Mm -hmm. This is not, 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 not. 
top seller seria i think it is uh, how we make our top, top seller mm -hmm. what do you think miss jessica yeah i think that's fine hmm? top seller all right, I'm going to go and help on another group because they just asked for help, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you, Miss. Yes. Oh, aquí está el portal. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello, girls. How are you? We need your help, teacher. Okay. Why? Can, Tell me. Can you share, please, the conversation again because... El CNI don't take the screen. I'm sorry. ¿Y qué pasó con el libro? No lo he descargado. Es que ahora tuve que ir. A, ya estoy yendo al trabajo. Perdón, no es excusa, pero no lo, no lo, no lo he descargado. Oh, okay. Y es la primera vez que me doy cuenta que ahí en el, en el, en la plataforma está que oso. Okay. Yo no sabía, entonces hoy oh, ya sé. Ok, no. bueno, hoy sí ya sabe, ahora puedo ir a descargarlo cuando, antes sí. de la clase. Mi pregunta es, ¿cómo voy a tomarle captura? Es que teacher podrá creer que no he aprendido a tomarle captura aquí en la, en la compu. Ver. Ah, hay una, hay un, um, hay un botoncito en el, uh, después de, on, bueno, depende ahí su, su, um, eh, su teclado, ¿verdad? Pero, por ejemplo, en la, después de, de que está la F12, uh -huh. hay uno que dice Print Scroll. Ajá, sí, es cierto. Ah, pues entonces apriete ese botón y eso es todo. De verdad. Sí, eso es todo. Y ahí ya la tomé, supuestamente. Ajá, pero tiene Vamos. que usted copiarlo en otro, en otro documento, ¿verdad? Eh, puede abrir mm. documento de Word. Uh -huh. ah. ¿Es tú? ¿O todavía no? Ok, ok, déjeme, déjeme checarlo aquí y le doy pegar. ¡Ay, qué emoción! Ya aprendí. ¡Ay, gracias! ¿Eh? <laughs> sí. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You so much. Um, ok. Ana. Ok, so go ahead, talk. Um, go ahead and practice with your partner. Ok. okay. Elcita, uh, ya puede ver la, la pantalla. Can you see? It? Yeah. Of chocolate second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. So great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But... What about people who are diabetic? Can can they uh, eat it? Uh, I'm not going to lie. The almond of sugar is too high. We consider those customer and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Great, very good, bravo. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> oh, guys, okay, just remember it's diabetic. Diabetic. Di okay. Diabetic. Okay. Diabetic. Teacher, yeah. and absolutely is correct. Uh -huh. Absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the other. Uh, the pronunciation word. can they mm -hmm. eat it? Can they eat it? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Can they eat uh -huh. it? Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Okay. Mm -hmm. the... Okay. Also, you got. Uh huh. Yes. Sorry. One more. The okay. amount. Ah, uh, the amount of sugar. The amount is correct. Amount. Yes. Amount. Amount. Uh, the amount. Okay. Amount of sugar is amount. too high. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Okay. okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, I will see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay, 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 teacher. Thanks.
Hi, guys. Hi, Peter. Okay, we're good. We're we're just finishing off the acti the activity, so everybody should be back in the room in a moment. Okay, wonderful. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is check um, our answers to the two questions. Okay, so let me share that. Um, let me share the um, the PowerPoint presentation again. Just give me a moment. Tell me when you can see it. Yes, we can see it. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we have um, the two questions. The first question is, what are the words Mark used to indicate the parts of the manufacturing process? What words did he use? We found out that the words were first, second, and finally. Very good, exactly. We have first, second, and finally. So if you notice these words indicate that there's a process, there is um, steps that you have to take. First step, second step, finally, right? Okay, but there are more, I mean, I mean, you can you can add more words, right? But it's not just first, second, finally. But those are they they tell us that there's a step, there's a process to do something. Good. And what are the negative sides of Mark's product? The amount of sugar is too high in the product. Right. Very good. The amount of sugar is too high. And what is the problem of being high? A high contact of sugar. What's the problem with that? Diabetic people cannot eat it. I'm sorry. Right, exactly. If you're a diabetic person, you cannot eat it, right? So, um, you know, I don't know if there's anybody here that is diabetic, but if you are, or if you know of somebody in your your family who's diabetic, you know that it's very important to be monitoring the sugar content uh, because if you don't monitor it, it can be a big, big problem for somebody that is diabetic. So that means that if you're diabetic, it's not that you cannot eat sugar, right? Yes, you can eat sugar, a little bit of sugar, right? You can't eat too much. So uh, especially if you have like, um, Things like um, chocolate with almonds, that's like, you know, it's very high in sugar, right? So you have to have something that is zero sugar content. And that's why they have the, the candy bar and the bubble gum. Okay. So speaking about, okay, so speaking about, um, it, what's it called? Um, about process, let's talk about how we can indicate the process of something. So we're marking steps in a process. Remember I told you steps, first step, second step, et cetera, et cetera. But there are not, like I said before, it's not just first, second, and finally, right? There are more things that we can, that we can say, okay? So we can say, for example, we can say, oh, let me just change the color here. Okay, so we can say first, okay, that means that it's the number one step. Second, right, that's the second step. Third, which means number three. Now, normally we don't say fourth, fifth, sixth, okay, because that's, it's just too much, right? I mean, in theory you could, but it's not, it's not recommended, right? It's not recommended to go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, no, okay? So it's better just to go first, second, third, only up to there. And then we can use words like later, 
Okay. What does it mean later? What does that mean in Spanish? Más tarde. Después. Más tarde. Mm -hmm. Más tarde. After. What does it mean after? Después. Después. Mm -hmm. Good. Next. Siguiente. Siguiente. Mm -hmm. Siguiente. Exactly. All right. So these words we can use instead of going fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, instead of quinto, sexto, no. We just say later, after, and next, okay? And to finish, to finish the, uh, the process, we can say finally, okay? So this is like at the beginning, okay? We can use this at the beginning of the steps, in the middle, we can use later, after, next. You don't have to put them in this order. You, you don't have to say later, after, next. You can say, for example, after, and then you can use later, and then next, or you can start with next, and then later, and then after. It's up to you. you can I have a question, teacher, I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, okay, what will be the difference if I use in a sentence uh, the word after and then, or if I use right after, what's the meaning of the usage? Okay, that's a good question. Um, so you are asking about the difference between mm -hmm. uh, after and right after. Exactly. Um, the word right after indicates that it's, it, this is like a synonym for immediately. Oh, okay immediately okay so uh, right after means immediately after it means okay. like um the next like, second <laughs> yeah, exactly exactly you don't wait okay. too long okay like it may be a few seconds at most maybe five seconds and then okay. you, you go on, right so that's immediately the right after means immediately after whereas okay. after um you can wait a little bit longer to give an example maybe you have the you you have the habit of having having breakfast or having lunch and then after that right you brush your teeth mm -hmm. right now you can now normally you don't finish lunch and immediately after <laughs> you have your teeth, no right? Uh, that it's not that's not normally what we do right <laughs> we wait like maybe 10 15 minutes right or 20 minutes or even half an hour so then we would use the word for after okay but if, for example immediately after let's say when we are brushing our teeth immediately after we um for example we uh i don't know Okay. We use the like yeah we for example we can floss. Uh huh. The right? floss immediately after um, breath, brushing our teeth we can floss. You guys know you understand floss? Yes. Floss. Everybody understands floss? No. 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 You don't know floss? No. Uh, how do you say that in Spanish? Hilo dental. Hilo dental. Hilo dental. Hilo dental. Hilo dental. Hilo dental. Exactly. <laughs> so, so after you brush your teeth, you can floss, right? That is the natural process, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's right after. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ahora, Thank you. You're welcome. Ahora, les voy a, les voy a dar un, un, un tip aquí, aunque veo que no está acá, pero necesito decirles algo importante. Normally, we do not just use the word after, okay? By itself, in, in English, we don't normally just use the word after, you know, without anything else. Normally, what we say is, uh, so we can say, after that, okay? After that, or after this, it could also be after this. Okay. Um, 
that's normally how we say it. So we normally have something after the word after. Okay. Okay. Does that makes sense. And if you want to just use the word after, we would have to say it like this after words. Okay. After, after words. Yeah. The, the, the words, the, the part of the words makes up for the missing part mm. that is the complement. Okay. I got it. I heard that word before, but I didn't know the meaning. Really. Oh, okay. Well, now you do. You know the mm -hmm. meaning. Yes. It's Thank the same you. thing. It's just, it's just that it's a way of compensating. It's replacing it like the complement. It's a exactly. sentence. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay, now something else I want to show you is the what goes what goes after the, the the words that mark the steps. If you notice, um, we use words like combine. Oops, sorry. Like we use combine. Um, yeah, um, combine, combine, chill, roll, cut, bake. So if you notice, these words are the verbs in the base form. You don't change them, okay? So normally you say, first, do this, right? So first, um, combine or mix. Second, pour. Third, um, add, blah, 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 blah. Later, um, well, it says there, chill for an hour. After that, um, take out, blah, 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 right? So the thing is that the, the next word will be the verb in the base form. No change. Is that clear? Yes. Any problems? Any questions you want to ask? No? We're okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So, what we're going to do is then... Um, um, hold on. Stop sharing. Give me one moment. Uh, Teacher. Yeah. Yes. If I have more step, what happened? If you have what? More step. More steps. Yeah. Um, continue using after, later, next. Mm -hmm. But I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Like, I would try to keep it less complicated because more than that, that the already there, there are seven steps, right? So, I wouldn't use more than ten. Ten steps is a lot. Right, so if you want to use if you want to use more than seven steps, just continue using later after that. Um, what was the next? Okay. Uh, okay, it's no matter. Okay. No, you can you can repeat. Yeah, that's okay. You what I wouldn't suggest is repeating the same the same word twice, like immediately after. Like I wouldn't say. Next, blah, 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 blah. Next, blah, blah, blah. No, I would, I would vary it. Like say, next, blah, 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 blah. After that, blah, 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 blah. Later, blah, 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 blah. After that, blah, blah, blah. So keep mixing, okay? That would be the best thing to do, okay? okay. But uh, at the beginning, it's needed a use it to first two, uh, first, second, 
or order them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the the beginning, yes, it would have to be in that order. First, second, third, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense if you for if you say third and then first and then second and then no. Uh, or finally at the beginning, no. Because first means primero. Second means segundo. Third is tercero, right? So you have to go in that order. Okay, so you cannot, you cannot use those ones. You cannot use again. Okay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so Teacher, what I have, yeah. I have a question. Okay, go ahead. What, what happens when you have a process that have many um, steps, imagine 25, and it have to take a, in a specific order. Mm -hmm. And you have, um, to take a decision, supposing step 10, you have to take a decision about to is yes or no, the process is, is okay, yes or no, and you have to back, is it, if it's not, you have to back to the um, five or four steps. Can we use the specific numbers or what we can do but to describe this kind of process. Um, it's a little complicated, I know, but yeah, I, <laughs> engineering I, I, used to have that kind it of It sounds process. like when you have a manual, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. manual. Yeah, that, that, exactly. It sounds um, almost like we're, we're making a manual, right? Yes, <laughs> because, um, you know, if you're having 25 steps, that's a lot. Yes. So I would suggest try to make it less complex and try just to simplify it. And if possible, we can maybe in one step, you can make, maybe put two parts together. For example, we could say, um, by, to give you an example, um, just give me a second. Okay, um, all right, so going back to this PowerPoint, um, you will remember that the first one says, first combine margarine, sugar, two eggs, and vanilla. Okay, uh, then it says here, now here it's a little complicated to combine because there, there's a list. But for example, let's, let's, let's put number four and five together. It says, later chill for one hour. So what we can do, uh, we can say, for example, later, chill for one hour and roll the mixture to about mm -hmm. a quarter inch, inch thick. So do you see we have combined number four and number five together using the word and. And that way we are able to um, put two, pro two steps in one process or one, sorry, in one step basically, and so that it doesn't sound like it's too much. Okay. Okay? Yes, okay. Yeah. But like I said, the best thing, just to simplify, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys. Um, well, what I'm actually going to do is um, ask you to, because of the time, we already come to um, our the end of our class. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do, um, I know that some of you, since from, from what I've heard from, from where, when I have been um, visiting different groups, I heard that some of you have not downloaded the, the, um, the manual. So please download the manual and I would like you guys to complete this activity. What are you gonna do with this activity? Well, this activity is um, the process to make dark chocolate espresso. Can somebody read the description of the dark chocolate espresso? Who can help me read that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Go for it, Francisco. And with our small dark chocolate and chunks of our organic espresso beans, get your chocolate and coffee fix 
all the loved ones with this delicious treat. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, exactly, very good. All right, so um, this is uh, smooth dark chocolate. You guys understand what dark chocolate is, right? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, all right, so um, any other words that we don't understand from here? Chunks. Chunks. Okay, chunks means big pieces. Big pieces. Okay. All right. So um, this is the process to make this dark chocolate espresso are these steps here. But the problem is that the steps are not in the correct order. For example, the first step is not this one, it's this one. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the top, the cocoa mass, okay? What I'd like you to do for homework is try to read all of the steps and find the logical order of the steps. What is step number one, step number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? 10. There are 10 steps here, okay? And I want you to put them in the order that you think is the best. And what I need you to do is to put the, also the word that best describes a step. For example, in this one, because it's number one, we would say, first, process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass, because we're gonna have to use the word first, because that is the word that we use to begin the process, right? So we would have to use the word over here first. Okay? Okay. That makes sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah, and then you would go on, and then number two would be the second, number three, Third, number four can be later or after that or next, et cetera, et cetera. In total, we will have 10 words that will help us to, um, to describe the process, okay? So that's gonna be for homework and we'll check this answer tomorrow. Sounds good, everybody? Yes, okay. Great. All right, guys, so um, that's gonna be all for today. Um, and since we have talked about um, having one-to-one -one classes or, or sessions, um, today we'll have Ana Claudia. Oh, okay. If you'd like to stay, I uh, will we'll have okay. a one-on-one -on -one session with you. Okay? Awesome. All right, guys, take care. See you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Thanks, teacher. Thank Thanks, teacher. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 <laughs> Teacher, yeah. solo una pregunta. Uh -huh. este, es posible, es posible que como tengo conectado dos dispositivos a la hora de la clase. No quiero desconectarme porque después tengo que volver a conectarme, poner la cámara. Uh -huh. Dejar la sesión que no tengo cámara, entrar, ahora no le dije, y, y dejar la sesión no acepto para que pueda entrar a un grupo y me quedo, sí, digamos. Sí, no te, lo noté, sí. Está, pero ah. quería consultárselo porque no sé cómo, o oh, no sé cómo hacer, o que usted me traslade de último a donde yo estoy para, para estar con una sesión de cámara y yo sé que es doble trabajo, pero... Um, bye. Voy, a, voy a intentar a ver si podemos a, hacer algún, algún arreglo con eso. Um, creo, creería que no habría mucho problema, pero um, yo le aviso mañana. Ok. okay Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, sí. you're welcome. Okay. Right, see ya. Okay. Eh, Ricardo, Alexander, ¿tiene alguna pregunta, inquietud? Ricardo? He, he's still connected. <laughs> yeah, he's still connected, but I don't know. Ricardo? Okay, says. Algo pasó ahí.
but okay let's continue so anyways um hi anna claudia by the hi. way um do you prefer to be called anna claudia or together together uh, anna claudia it's anna claudia. so short <laughs> sure. sounds good sounds good okay so anna claudia welcome to our class um Thank you. so you were uh you were studying before in another level yes uh the previous level the uh, beginners number four it was my first experience uh, with oh. these classes and i work in a call center and so i sell products every day and i uh, i speak english every day but you just don't imagine how how much i learned <laughs> on the previous oh, one yeah. and i'm learning too here i love the way that you are so proactive and also your emphasis emphasis and looking for the good pronunciation because I think that is uh, the most <laughs> we are struggling. <laughs> yeah, it's a challenge, but it's important. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad that I can help, right? Yes, thank you. So what do you sell, Ana Claudia? What do you uh, I work uh, for, a, for, a, um, for an account that we sell some equipments, they are installed in uh, trucks and some vehicles for delivery purposes, etc. In US and Canada, that is the way how uh, the authority they track uh, the trucks. By the way, they track the trucks and uh, also the drivers. A trunk, so the a <laughs> yes, so they uh, can have uh, all this information about the hours of service, et cetera. But at the same time, these uh, equipments uh, provides to the uh, owner, to the admin, provides a lot of information, very important information. For example, how long a driver is uh, idling time, the truck is on and the fuel is, uh, you know, <laughs> right there. So they, it's like uh, they have a global vision of what's going on with their uh, with their company. So that is what I sell. Uh, so I need to talk to uh, Spanish customers, but also English customers. And we assist uh, some Mexican customers, but most of the customers we help are US and Canada, most in US. Okay, interesting, all right. Yes. Very interesting because we learn a lot every day. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah, wow, that's 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 very interesting. Um, and uh, so, how long have you been working in this account? Oh, in this account, I have three years, as far as I remember. Oh. Yeah, three years. But working in the call center environment, sales <laughs> is I'm going to be fifteen years. <laughs> This oh. next year, yes, you know, uh, even though I'm so surprised because maybe I think that is because I have short goals, monthly goals. So every month you start zero and then you need to run, make your, uh, achieve your goals, sell, 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 and also additional goals like calls and an email, stuff like that. And at the end, oh, it's complete. Then you have the next month. I don't feel so stressed. I don't feel oh, like, gosh. yes, I feel, I don't know. I feel like a normal, like a normal job. Oh. And, and I'm, I have one year, recently one year that I've been working from home and I'm so happy because moving from Santana to San Salvador, that means I was, uh, I need to wake up at 3.30 or 3.10 a.m., prepare my stuff, also cook my lunch, my- 3.30? Yes, ma'am, because uh, my, my boss, my private transportation, uh, it was, uh, uh, I was uh, on the transportation like around 4.20 or 4.30 a.m. every day. That was, yes, that was because I wanted to avoid all the, ah, uh, se me olvida como se dice el tráfico, el, uh, cuando está. Rush hour. Sí, ah, the rush hour, embotellamiento. Uh -huh. Yes, I, in order, 
for me to avoid that, I prefer to <laughs> sleep less and get up earlier. And you slept on the bus. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. slept on the bus. Yes. I was trying, like I kind of, I prefer to sleep when I was uh, coming back because in the, when you wake up, you know, you take a shower, you, it's like, uh, I'm ready. So I try to make a nap, take a nap, but it was so difficult. So I prefer to start working earlier so I could make multiple things, plan, plan my day, and stuff like that. But at the end, I was leaving at 5 p.m., depending on the daylight. Uh, daylight schedule schedule um so right now i'm leaving at 5 p.m but uh, the other half of the year i was living at 6 p.m so then i need to move to uh, take a bus in in the bus in at that time yes i used to sleep <laughs> wow. it was kind of difficult so i'm happy to still continue working yeah, no kidding. Well, that sounds great and sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, Ana Claudia, are, is there anything that you need more help with or you have questions or doubts about? No, I love, as I mentioned before, since this today is the first class, I see that your emphasis is great looking in a good pronunciation in grammar. That is the reason why I'm looking for to study additional English, right? Because it's like I got used to say like a phrase, like a sentence, but sometimes I don't know the real um, meaning or why I'm saying this or saying that. And I work on a business environment and you just don't imagine how these courses help me a lot, making differences between words sometimes we think still we think in Spanish, even though I have a lot of years working in the industry. <laughs> but every day I learn a lot. No, I'm very happy that you emphasize that area. I'm happy for that. Good. I'm I'm happy to help, right? Anything? Yes. And and stop me, please stop me if there's <laughs> anything that you are not getting or you have a question about, just um, you know, just say something you know and i will and i will stop you know i i i i want to help you know as much as possible um but i can only help if i know what i need to help with right exactly so, if we ask right exactly. and i love your uh, accent uh, sound native accent. <laughs> accent i'm sorry accent oh my accent uh, -huh. uh well I am a native speaker, actually. Oh, that is the reason why I was. Oh my goodness! I love her pronunciation. Yeah. That is a, that is what we need to to learn because as uh, Spanish, sometimes we are missing uh, sounds we haven't heard before, and right. that is the way how I love that you've been making the. Uh, we, you were making the comparison between this and this word. I love that. Okay. I love you. It's so proactive. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm happy to hear that, you know, and um, anything at all, if you want, uh, I mean, I always tell my students, this is your class. So mm -hmm. if there's something that you would like to practice more on, something you want to do more of, or something that doesn't work for you, um, you know, tell me and we will see okay. what we can do about it. Okay. Okay. No, don't worry. Right. <laughs> I, 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 I don't worry. I will be a... Uh, speaking or asking. I love to ask because I love to learn. Good. So, mm. Yeah, I, I love questions. I, I love <laughs> Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. And, and I'm, I can see that. I can see that you will definitely be asking questions. That's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> good, good. That's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Ana Claudia, it's been great um, having met you and um, Hopefully we will work together um, very closely. And um, like I said, anything you need, let okay. me know. Uh, you can write to me uh, through the chat. You know, mm -hmm. the, are you are you in the group? Yes, of course I am. Okay, okay mm -hmm. good. So you can write through me to me through that, or 
you correct me directly, okay? The not only okay. thing is that I will not, I cannot promise that I'm going to answer immediately because I know I have um, my other job during the um, during the day. So sometimes I guess you uh, work also teaching on different institutions or companies. Uh, yes, I do teaching. Um, and I'm also doing interpreting, so oh. yeah. So I'm 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 very busy, <laughs> but um, but you know it's it's you know it's okay. Like you can you can write to me and everything, and as soon as I I can, I will help you. Awesome! I know. I, I see you're so proactive in that way. Don't worry. In okay. case I need help, I will ask for. <laughs> okay. Good. Excellent. All right. Uh, that's a deal. All right. Okay. Okay. My so pleasure, teacher. It's my pleasure as well, um, Ana Claudia. And um, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Not a problem. Have a good night. God bless you too. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Likewise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ricardo, is there anything I can help you with? Or is just the, you left it open? Okay, well, um, I guess I'm gonna have to disconnect, um, Ricardo. So take care, I'll see you tomorrow.